is Yankee Cruiser. He's owned by the Brian Pinsky Stable Incorporated. Nick Barbieri in the Pinsky Stables, trained by Tim Pinsky with Andy Miller. Number three, Gone West, owned by the Bob McIntosh Stables, CSX Stables, and Mike Kohler, trained by Bob McIntosh with Ron Pierce. Number four, The Globe, owned by David Scharf, Let It Ride Stables, and Jerry Silva, trained by Ross Krogan with Luke Wallet. Number five, the Little Brown Jug winner, no pan intended. For the Peter Pan Stables, Ivan Sugg and Dave Miller. Number six is Ice Yankee, owned by the Valdor Farms, trained by Joe Holloway with Dave Pallone. And this is number seven, Quality Western. For the Brittany Farms, Bob Burgess, Bob Dickerson, and Karen Olson Burgess, trained by Blair Burgess, Mike Lachance in the sulky behind Quality Westerit. So that's the field. Scratch the one. Arts Chip. And now there's a look at Ice Yankee in your picture there with Dave Pallone driving. Post time coming up in the second Seven division minutes. of the Tanner Saws, the Leon Matches Memorial for three year old pacing. Colts and Gelding scratch down to six starters here in race nine for a purse of 153000 Here they come. And they're off, and no pan intended is being sent for the lead. Yankee Cruiser chased from the rail. The Globe wanted to leave, but backs off a bit there. And Gone West is now third, sliding in behind the top here as Dave Miller chases no pan intended. He's up to engage Yankee Cruiser for the lead. Further back in the field, Ice Yankee has come out fifth under a firm hold, and Quality Western at the back of the pack is the trailer, and no pan intended is now cleared before the quarter. Yankee Cruiser stretched him out a bit to get there, though, and racing in third is Gone West, 27 and one for the front panel. In fourth as they hit the back stretch, the Globe under a firm hold. Ice Yankee is ranked. Pallone fighting with him in fifth, and at the back of the pack is Quality Western who trails the field. So there's straight alignment, and the jug winner is on the lead. It's no pan intended. Not seeing any pressure so far. Yankee Cruiser very content with the pocket. He's well situated there for Andy Miller. Gone West kicks out the earplugs for Pierce. He's racing in third. Then fourth in behind him, the Globe. Ice Yankee is starting up on the outside from fifth. The half and 55 and four. And Quality Western will follow him as they move on to the far turn. No pan intended in front. And Yankee Cruiser elects to sit in behind him. Ice Yankee coming first over. He's now second, applying some pressure for the lead. And that moves Quality Western into a a striking spot. He's second over, only three from the front as they come to the three-quarter marker. Gone west, locked in and shuffled back on the inside, and the Globe is third over. They're double-tiered. Three-quarters, 124 and two, and it's no pan intended trying to take them all the way at the top of the stretch. Ice Yankee trying to hang in there. Yankee Cruiser needs room, and here comes the Globe, who is charging hard, and Quality Western rallying between horses. It's no pan intended. Yankee Cruiser, the Globe, and Quality Western no pan intended. Yankee Cruiser trying to gun him down from the pocket. No pan intended. Holds on. Yankee Cruiser was second. The Globe third in one fifty-one and two. The winner, number five, no pan intended. Second, number two, Yankee Cruiser. Third, number four, The Globe. Driving triple tonight for Dave Miller. And the winds just keep on coming for number five, no pan intended. A Pacific fella colt out of classic wish by Armbro Emerson. This half-brother to Better's Delight is owned by the Peter Pan Stables of Pepper Pike, Ohio, and trained by Ivan Sugg. No pan intended, 12 wins and 15 starts. He's already won two legs of the Triple Crown and will go for the Triple Crown in the Messenger coming up at the Meadows. So no pan intended. Takes this division of the Tattersalls, the Leon Matches Memorial. Once again, Leon's son Gary, along with Widow Lorraine and Gary's son Nick, to congratulate the Glazer family, Bob Glazer and his mother Molly, Ivan Sugg and members of the Sugg family in the winner's circle as well. And Dave Miller, the leading money-winning driver in North America, said that no pan intended gave him his biggest thrill in racing winning the little brown jug two weeks ago right back in the winner's circle in this division of the tattersalls
the late Leon Matches owned some of the sport's brightest stars. Won the North America Cup with Arizona Jack, trained by his son Gary. They also had Tiberwood, Breeders' Crown champion and the two-year-old Pacer of the Year back in 99. Also involved with horses like TV Yankee and the great Say Hello, who was trained by Bill Popfinger. So the Leon Matches Memorial, the Cheyenne Gang, and Lorraine Matches sponsoring the Matches Memorial this year. Second division to a very deserving, no pan intended, as he keeps his win streak rolling, now 12 for 15 on the season. Exact of five and two, six dollars sixty cents. 